what's up and welcome back today we'll be going into my two losing trades on the day i actually traded the nasdaq 100 today i thought that i had a better edge when it came to nasdaq today so we're actually gonna look at nasdaq and also look at the us 30 to see if there would have been a better trade on the us 30 but during the day what i was seeing was a better opportunity on the nasdaq turned out to be wrong on the first trade i was right for a little bit on the second but then i got knocked out because i had just my stop loss a bit too close so it happened sometimes so we're gonna see if i had a better opportunity on the dow jones as well so we'll see both of that so i only made two trades today and then we're gonna go into the watch list cool so the first trade i took was before 9 a.m typically i'd like to go for 10 o'clock trades if I see where it's just definitely not working at all at before 9, 10, I'm going to just stick to making trades at 10. That would actually just make me have more rules and less places of failure. And it's just like taking it slowly at that point, not looking for multiple entries on the same trend, just taking one trend trade per day, right? So let's get into this. The first trade was a buy side trade. I entered at eight. So let's see. So I was up on both of the trades. Like I'm catching the move, I'm catching the trend. But then as I'm expecting it to go a little longer and not paying attention to the market, that's when I start to get knocked out. So I entered here at 19761. And then I actually got stopped out at 19747. 747 for a total loss of 54. So this might be a little off, but basically this is where I entered on whatever the funding pips chart is. Um, hold on. Okay, so we're on the hourly time frame. We're actually gonna look at the trades as they actually took place today, right? So, Moving this along to the eight o'clock candle, which would have been here, correct? Okay, so it's on UTC time here. How do I change that to New York? I actually like funding tips for this. I really appreciate it. Very good, very good step in the right direction for name pips thank you so i entered here at 19761 take profit is anywhere above but i got stopped out so it doesn't even matter and then i got stopped out here at 19747 so let's see what happened so i entered here i didn't get stopped out on the 8 so i was up and then when price actually wicked down that's what actually took me out here. So I could have gotten a nice move on the nine o'clock. The market actually pumped at nine o'clock or nine thirty, but I got stopped out at what time was this? Nine thirty one. So let's actually go down to the thirty minute to see at what point. So nine o'clock, the market was pumping. Nine thirty. That's when he had that week that took me out. All right. So that one was a loss of fifty four. Moving on to the 10 o'clock now. So let's see the 10 o'clock. The 10 right here. This is where I entered a cell. And then I got stopped out 30 minutes after, which was this. If I didn't get stopped out on that move, I would have been able to capitalize on this big move to the downside, close it out at probably 12, and then be finished for the day. But I was up a good amount. I just didn't close it because I was expecting more of a trendy move, right? It happens sometimes. You can expect that the market's going to go your way, but there's zero guarantees in this. So I entered a short position on the 10 here. And let's actually add our numbers, which is 1905. I don't have to go decimals. Those don't really matter take profit anywhere lower, of course, and then stop loss was 19.822 for a total loss of 
you can see that I got stopped out on this candle regard if I had set a bigger stop loss I would have gotten knocked out regardless I don't like how the market traded today very wiki if you don't have big um how would you say if you don't have big stop losses you'd have gotten knocked out so you'd have had to enter here and put your stop loss up here probably look for a two to one and would a two to one even be worth it so you risk 50 on that trade to make it's hard to get a two to one on this having such a big stop loss and you'd have gotten stopped out if you sat on this trade until the end of the day it would have been good to look for the reversal but i don't trade after 10 that much like i don't have the confidence to to be honest moving to the dow jones let's see how the dow jones traded today looks like it traded even worse with these big solid candles i'm not a big fan of how the market traded today in these weeks i don't like it so we're gonna just have to fine tune it or just stay out when the, the days start to look like this so let's get yeah that was the two trades so only two trades i'm looking to just consistently just do two trades per day max max right let's get into the watch list now so we're gonna start with our favorite bitcoin so bitcoin is at six seven six two nine i believe a lot of this is just people trying to make sure they are in as everyone believes trump is gonna win the election already but trump is actually showing that he is for bitcoin and crypto and that is actually very beneficial to the crypto market and bitcoin's price action um so this is immr this is immr this is bit farms this is now nvidia nvidia is at one two three so despite having a small sell-off it is still holding up like a champ it even had a good bounce today uh 177 this is amd so amd is at 155 this is looking like we might have a nice bounce to the upside on amd here but i'm not the biggest fan on trading options because you know that iv will just destroy you this next one is 800 which is smci smci is a little lower at 786 i don't know what's going on with that i hate smci to be honest um this thousand dollar stock is asml wow asml had a big sell-off in the previous week that's very interesting this next one is eli lily they had a sell-off as well at 865 what's going on and then when you look at the 10 year you know the 20 year treasures that also had a sell-off very interesting so what's holding up the most right now is bitcoin and tesla a bit let me see Well, I wasn't tracking it very well last week, so it's hard to tell what was going on. Let's actually clear this. How do I clear this? So, Bitcoin holding higher, maybe from Trump stocks and rest of the market had a quick sell off. Will we get a bounce? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a bounce. Let's go to DJ30. It's highly likely that we get a bounce from here. So you're looking at the one week. Wow. Now that's the month. That's the month. So let's get to the one week. Is the week bullish? The week is getting into that overextended area let me see you got overextended here came down found the bottom and this isn't overextended and now we're higher but not overextended very interesting very very interesting 
I'm just trying to fine tune and dial in a strategy so I can just consistently make money using trading, you know. So tomorrow, where does my bias lie? Let's just look. So overall, we are bullish. I'm making a new high here. Okay. We're bullish on the weekly. Let's even write that. So I probably should just be looking for buys. Okay. So this is the overall trend. So weekly bull, daily, daily, we are still bullish. So tomorrow, I guess I'm just looking for buys or a really strong reversal. Daily bullish. Bullish. And the daily is bullish. What is the four hour looking like? Four hour is actually looking good. We're crossing above this RSMI, this RSI. EMA, I believe. And we are we aren't even in an overbought situation right now. We're closer to oversold. And the daily is bullish, the weekly is bullish. The daily isn't overextended, it's just coming from overextended, and the weekly isn't overextended. So I think that's a good setup for some bullish movement in the market so we'll see what happens tomorrow and i'll see you in the next one